Today we're at Window Cliffs State Natural Area. We're close to uh, Burgess Falls State Park. So here's the parking area here. We're going to come down here. And we're going to cross the creek. This is Cane Creek. We're going to cross it nine times in uh, 2.7 miles. And we're going to go back here to Window Cliffs. And uh, it's really beautiful area. Some eroded bluffs that have form natural windows and of course you turn around and go back so we'll be crossing the creek nine times going back out as well So as you can hear, a lot of birds around here. So if you're into birding, this is a really great location. Something else really cool about this uh, trip today is uh we're the only ones here so we've got the whole place to ourselves. here's where we start down to the creek well, there's one thing that comes with being the first person on the trail is i'm what you call the silk blazer I'm the one who's uh, taking out all the spider webs along the trail coming down. So whoever comes second, it's already going to be cleared out for them. And here we are at the first creek crossing. So one thing you noticed that I did, I left my shoes on. I've seen people before here They'll come through, they'll take their shoes off. Don't even bother. You're gonna go out nine times getting the window cliffs and then come back. So you're gonna go a total of 18 times crossing the creek. So don't even bother to take your shoes off. Just uh, wade the water, you'll be fine. You're probably gonna come closer to hurting yourself uh, if you don't have your uh, uh, shoes on or your boots or whatever you're wearing. Do not wear flip-flops. I mean, even regular tennis shoes will be better than uh, flip-flops. Tiger swallowtail. Lots of butterflies out today. And here comes crossing number two. Bottom right through here on crossing two is very slippery. So instead of trying to cross where it's slick, right here, there's a trench right through here with some rocks in it. Try to stay right inside that trench if you're gonna cross here. That way you'll get better footing. Nice bluff right there. Pretty much get that much the whole way on that side of the creek.
this is all blackberry right here nothing's coming out yet but there's definitely a lot of it along the trail now I have left to go oh wow this is barely a creek crossing this is number three anytime you see that flat it's going to be slippery so if you notice right here there's a trench this is where all the uh, rocks collect so this is where you want to cross that You got the creeks and everything, but you've also got these occasional meadows out here like this. These are really great. Creek crossing five. One mile to window cliffs. Here, that little water snake. They, they look like I know some people think they're copperhead, but they're not. They're yeah. those are completely harmless. They're just uh, they're literally just called a common water snake, non venomous, completely harmless. All right, here we are at Creek Crossing 6. If I remember right, this is probably one of the deeper spots right here. If you do come out here, besides good footwear, I highly recommend you bring you some trekking poles. I know at the trailhead, there's uh, some hiking sticks and people usually just kind of leave them behind for other people. So it's, uh, I'm up to my knee right here. But uh, if you're not too sure about yourself, definitely use the cable. Wear good shoes, sticks, and you should be fine. All right, Creek Crossing 7, which is a very short walk from 6. Creek crossing eight, getting closer. Because this one is pretty slick across the bottom, I'm just gonna kinda use a combination of the cable and the sticks. And it is slick as snot down there. So this one you definitely wanna take your time and not bust your ass. Such a pretty creek. I say if you're uh, wanting to come out here and do this stuff and take your shoes off at the crossings, your bare feet are going to be a lot slicker than what the tread on your shoes will be. So don't try to do this barefoot and don't try to do it in flip flops. Just walk right through. With your tennis shoes or your boots. If you're uh, not too savvy out in the woods, see this, three leaves. This is poison ivy. This is what it looks like. Do not eat it, do not wipe your butt with it. And just a few seconds ago, you'd have got a real treat if I'd had the GoPro running. I ran straight into a spider web and turned into a Kung Fu master. And there you go. 
Window cliffs. There's a thin bluff line that is just slowly eroding away. And it's because these, uh, these pockets, these weak spots, and it's just eroded into uh, windows. And we'll be right up on top here in just a little bit. Coming up on the waterfall. Oh, did I mention there's a waterfall out here? Uh, yeah, it's a really cool waterfall out here, by the way. And so we come to Creek Crossing number nine. Now this one here, I highly suggest using sticks and uh, the cable on this one. Uh, mostly because you don't want to slip and fall and they crash down there, but mostly just because the rocks here are really slick. to check out this beautiful forest that's another thing about this trail too this trail is so easy to follow there's virtually no way to get lost out here all right check it out here this is the eastern box turtle it's a male I can tell because he's got a dent right here Not beautiful or what? We've done all these creek crossings here. We got up here. This is the waterfall, the last crossing. So now we're making this arch around the creek here. Then we'll get up here. This little dot that's window cliffs. Slowly gaining a little elevation to get to the top of the cliffs. Should be coming up on it any time now. Climbing on the side of cliffs is forbidden. Climbing on top of cliffs is very dangerous. I've been here before. And that's a very true statement. So here we are at the top of window cliffs. So right over here, the water that you're hearing, that's uh, Window Cliff Falls right over there, where it was earlier. So that's the overlook, straight that away. If you look and you see how that one is overhanged, there's nothing directly below it. That's pretty much how it is exactly where I'm standing now too. And it's just as crumbly. So this is up underneath where I was just standing. 
That was just right up there. And you can see how deteriorated this stuff is. And you can also see how the windows are actually formed. If you look at how sketchy that looks, if you're going to stand up on top of the bluff there, just know this is what it looks like directly under you. summer tanager that's a male the females are yellow for you people that's a uh, not too sure about heights this is going to be a fun one for you right here all right so it's a uh, Right at 12 o'clock right now, I'm starting to head back. Uh, it was about nine when we uh, left the parking lot. And uh, you can easily make the trip back here in an hour and a half, two hours tops. And that's stopping to check stuff out and all that. The parking lot, two and three quarter miles. I won't be setting up all the camera shots on the way back and stuff. So, see roughly how long it takes to get back out. You can see right here, well, the ferns are really starting to come out here now, through this section. Really beautiful hike out here. Last time when I was coming through here, which is actually the first time I'd ever been out here, when I was coming back through here, I uh, got to have this really nice uh, rat snake across the trail in front of me and uh, got some pictures there you go yeah there's gonna be snakes out here so if you're one that's uh, scared of snakes uh, don't be they're not gonna get you isn't this a beautiful forest through here look at this it's such an awesome hike It's nice when you can take a stroll through the woods like this and not even have to watch your feet. Now there's no trip hazards at all through this section. Beautiful section of trail here. And that is one thing about this time of year. I got a uh, hermit thrush right through the trees. Don't know if you can see him, but hermit thrush back through there. But uh, I do prefer fall and winter and uh, early spring for, for hiking. But that is one thing that when summer brings in spring and summer, you do have a lot of lush green vegetation. And that's really pretty too. But it also comes with ticks and mosquitoes and all the other bugs and things that annoy you and walking through spider webs and all that other fun stuff. Now coming up on uh, Water crossing number nine, and then we'll count them down. All right, here we go, number nine. And by the way, if you see the uh, where the water is on the horizon there, 
that's the top of the waterfall over there. That's a cool little creek right there. Give you one more look at the Window Cliff uh, waterfall. One more look at Window Cliffs. So right up there, that's where we stopped and had lunch. And uh, that's pretty much as far as you can go because it's just too treacherous to try to go out on any of the rest of that. Alright, two miles of the parking lot. Got eight more creek crossings to go. Crossing number eight. I saw another snake go that way. It was actually bigger than the first one. Ah, oh, there he is. There he goes. There he goes. See him? Yeah. I know some of you probably think I'm crazy right now, but that's all right. It's just fun and exciting to see them. And I've probably scared some of y'all from even wanting to come out here. But don't let a little snake bother you. All right, creek cross to number seven. Even if you're scared of snakes, you gotta admit, this trail and that creek it's really cool it's worth coming and checking out and we're at creek crossing number six ah look Look at him, there he goes. Look at him, isn't he cute? You can see how big my hand is to him. He's a small one. This might be a good little snake hot spot. Cute little fella. All right, we'll leave you alone. So for the people who are uh, scared of snakes, crossing six, uh, just don't go over here by the sign. Just go over by the cable and they won't eat you. Bunch of uh, butterflies that eat the crawdad. Isn't that cool? Could have known butterflies are carnivores. Either that or maybe they think it's a lobster lunch. Alright, so here's Creek Crossing 5. It's amazing to me that we're on our way back and we've already crossed uh, the fifth creek crossing from the parking lot and still not seen anybody out here. I know this is a Friday and a lot of people are at work, but the last time I was here, there was still quite a few people out here. It's been very nice having the trail to myself. Here we go. This would be number four. There's a little creek crossing. This is a little bitty one. Mile and a quarter back to the parking. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, check this out. So I'm walking along here. 
You see how that's bubbling up right there? It's bubbling up through there. There's even another one just right over there. This is a, a spring. You see that's a hillside behind me there. So it's actually coming through. And this is where it's boiling up. Cool, huh? You see all the silt floating around? All right, check this out. Baby frogs. All right. And here is number two. The last crossing, and just as I got here, there was a snake number four just went through there. Beautiful place. All right, dig it. This is a garter snake. Isn't that cool? You can tell by the stripes on him. And of course he's harmless. And just to give you an idea, I'm about 10 inches away from him with the camera and he's just sitting there. Cool, huh? All right. Time to head on back up the hill. How about that though? Whole bunch of creek crossings, cool waterfall, cool eroded bluff. Five snakes, frogs, bunch of butterflies. I know you get a bunch of bird sounds. Uh, summer tanager, probably other stuff I can't remember right now, but uh, such a cool place, man. You gotta come out here and check this out. So if you dug that video, you know, hit a like on it. You know, subscribe if you haven't already. This is the kind of cool stuff we come and do out here. And if you would, uh, throw a comment in there. Let me know how things are. Tell me how you like it. Or if you didn't like it. You know, but uh, anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Later. I said it's uh, 123. It was right about noon or so uh, when we left uh, Window Cliffs. So, you know, so you could do it an hour and a half easy. Uh, just come out here and enjoy it. Just uh, be careful on the water crossings. And, uh, Enjoy the nature out here. Have a good one.